In this video, I am going to show you how to add in green screen video and replace the green screen with another image or video that would go underneath it. Um, so, um, I don't have a green screen video of myself to demo, but I found some rather extraordinary green screen footage on YouTube that I'm going to use of a man wielding a large knife around. Um, so, all we need to do, now this is quite important actually, I was going to say we just need to drag this to the timeline, but here's a very important thing. It needs to be dragged onto video track 1 and your underneath image, the thing that's going to show through the green screen, needs to go on the normal video track. So put your green screen sort of on the top one. And here we go, here's my man with his knife. And um, what we can do is um, we're going to want to replace all this green with something else. So I've gone on to uh, Google here and I found a battle scene, which I thought was, you know, pretty appropriate for this guy. Um, so maybe we choose this one. Let's see, let's view that image. Lovely. Let's save that into our downloads folder and I'm going to import it. Fantastic. So all I need to do is drag that to underneath the green screen clip and expand it so it's just as long. Okay. Now, here's where the magic comes in. Click on the green screen clip again so it's selected and you can see it's in orange. We need to add an effect. So in properties for that clip, we're going to go to add effect. And this is the one we want, chroma key. Click on chroma key. And it's by default set up for blue screens. But if we grab this little dropper tool and drag over to our green and let go, hey presto, it gets rid of the green. Now it's not perfect. There's a few things we can do. We can click suppress background and that kind of gets that away a little bit and we can add some some blur and that kind of makes it look a little bit less harsh as well um, and oh dear I didn't mean to press invert um, and you will find that the green screen isn't perfect and you can spend a long time fiddling with these settings and from experience I can tell you just I would say just if it looks okay that's probably good enough um, so move the playhead back and let's just see how it looks so there he is, we've got our guy moving his uh, knife around with our battle scene. And um, obviously our battle scene hasn't quite filled up the full background. So we could fix that um, like we've seen before. We could either transform it to make it bigger or we could use the crop. Uh, so I'm just going to match the project aspect ratio and now it should be just right. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. Now, if I'd wanted to, I could have used a video under here instead of a static photograph. Um, possibly, considering this is a news pro program, if we go back to Google Images and look up something like news background, you get some really great sort of effects, like here's a nice set. So we could click this one, open it up. I could copy that image. Actually, that's not a very high quality one. I don't, I don't want that one. It's, it's got to be good quality if we're going to do this. Um, so you could look for uh, search tools, size, and we want it to be probably large size. Um, so yeah, that, that one might do. View image, lovely. Okay, so I can do save image. I'm going to save that to my downloads. Let's go back to media. Let's import that news background, which is, is it that one? Yep. And I'm going to get rid of my battle scene and I'm going to put my news background. And now all of a sudden you see that we've got our maniac in the studio uh, throwing his knife around inside the news studio. But of course this could be you sat at a desk with a cool news background and how great would that look? I think that would look pretty amazing and again I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are able to do with that. 